Now, this is probably one of the best tips, guys, that you will ever hear in the bodybuilding community. And that's, of course, take every four weeks, take a break and do some light weights to work on those tendons, those ligaments. You could do this with any exercise as seen here in the video with uh, dumbbell bench press. Just focus on going as slow as you can on the way down, doing an isometric hold and right at the bottom, really squeezing that chest and going as slow as you can on the way up. Uh, today was leg day. Today's day 21, guys. And you know, I just wanted to show you with, you know, a different exercise as well. And as you see here, guys, I'm just doing uh, Bulgarian split squats as slow as possible. Uh, trying to, you know, go five seconds down, uh, hold it for five seconds if possible, and going slow up. Uh, this way, you're training your ligaments, your tendons, especially for those of you that, you know, are lifting very heavy, you know, taking a break every four weeks, six weeks, or eight weeks depending you know what your body's telling you uh you know back in the past guys you know when i was competing you know i would uh at the moment it was you know 2015 and the goal with every youtube finish channel was, was you gotta push yourself you gotta go hard and you know a lot of guys you know you try to follow them unfortunately uh back in the day everybody was you know on juice but nobody would admit it uh and as natural as athletes if you try to uh, you know catch up to them you will end up burning yourself out and you know uh, that's something that I wish the, somebody had posted videos like this, you know, back in the past workouts. There were videos like that, but they were not that, you know, mainstream, that easy to find, like, uh, the information you have now. Uh, so definitely, guys, if, you know, you want to do this for the long term, whether you have no injuries, you have injuries, whatever it is, uh, doesn't matter which, which one it is, take a break at least every four weeks, uh, or at least every six to eight weeks, uh, listen to your body, listen to your joints. And do, you know, very slow controlled movements. And this is what's going to help you, you know, uh, do this for the long term. And uh, if, you know, the next week you could just, you know, slowly uh, build up. You could do it with weights. Uh, just put this in uh, perspective, guys. If, if you get stronger, you know, uh, with eight, the 8 to 12 rep range, you could also get stronger with the 5 to 7 rep range. Uh, you can also do, you know, uh, higher higher reps for endurance, and you can have a mixed training of, you know, of all three of that. And then once a week, you know, uh, not once a week, uh, once every four, you know, six or eight weeks, you throw in a little bit of, uh, you know, very controlled reps, and you can also progress in this. You know, add weights. You don't have to do body weight. You can also, you know, add weights to this. And that's what's going to keep you in the game for a long time. And, you know, you're also progressing not only, you know, with heavy weights, you're also progressing with very slow controlled movements, which uh, would definitely help, uh, you know, your overall, you know, support in your joints, ligaments, tendons, uh, and muscle con uh, control and mind muscle connection. Uh, hopefully, guys, that has a good tip. And hopefully most of you guys follow because it it's definitely going to change, you know, your results or uh, in the long term. Anyways, man. I wanted to share that with you. Hold on to the channel, guys. Comment and subscribe.